Hey, welcome to another Let's Play video in which I'm going to redo my paths because basically you you might have seen in the last couple of episodes that I had like for some reason I had copies of multiple sets in my style themed so I decided to go into my style themed and actually look for the sets that I had like multiple versions of and it turned out I had a whole lot of sets that I cleared three times within my folder so I went ahead and deleted some of those things but for some reason that also means that and because I was a complete idiot and I used the versions that I deleted that I lost loads of stuff and one of those um, things that I actually lost was that path set so that's kind of why all of the things, all of the little paths and other things that I've done with that set and how I've even done the roofs with that set for some reason I kind of lost all of that so you might notice that I still need to kind of fix that but that was why I did that at the beginning of the video but anyway today is the day when I'm going to do something extraordinary and a lot wow that was extraordinary um yeah because I'm working on the wing rider I uh, well and the main reason for that is peer pressure I don't know many people told me hey why aren't you working on the wing rider and I was like fuck the ring wing rider anyway I don't want to work on that thing but now now so many people asked it that I was like why not so yeah that hence why I'm kind of building this path over here and of course crit texturing because that is very important very important you must never forget to use the grid to make your textures because it's sexy it's very sexy which is something that I say too often about custom scenery and game related things for some reason especially as of lately but yeah and you might notice that I'm also using the um, kind of well checkerboard pattern on the path but it's not really a checkerboard pattern it's kind of different it's kind of like getting one texture and then just bringing another texture here and there but not everywhere it's like a checkerboard pattern where one of the textures doesn't quite appear as often as the other one and it actually works out quite nice because it means that I have that nice soily texture of the um, well soil really and also that kind of lightness of the sand but yeah anyway I started working on the queue and I have no clue what this is really about I just decided to did, do it on a whim and I decided I'm going to have a wooden walkway so I built a wooden walkway and that's pretty much how this happened though I don't think this is really the best queue I find that it's ex it's actually more fun to build things where you kind of need to build around things and with things and I, what I mean with that is when you're kind of limited in what you need to do it, it sort of works as a guideline to kind of overcome your limitations so I decided okay I'm going to build a stupid ugly path as a queue and then see what I can theme around that as a kind of a starting point. And that's why I kind of got the ideas to make a kind of spooky, scary, skeleton <laughs> castle kind of thing with steampunk, because this is a steampunk park, and alpine, and of course some spooky manor influences. So I have no clue what this is going to be like, but that's what we'll see, I guess. So. As, to, as a kind of starting point because I didn't feel like really doing the station so I was definitely procrastinating that at, at this moment I decided to do this little tunnel kind of thing which I'm going to add some nice little towers to and other things but first of all I had to decide on the support colors because I didn't really know what kind of um, color scheme I really wanted to use of course I made the track orange which is an interesting choice I suppose it's not really that common, especially not for this theme. So I didn't really exactly know what to do with, uh, the, with the colors for the supports. So I decided to go with green, but then I was like, eh. So I went with purple. And now, um, oh, okay. That's kind of just how I feel about this color scheme. It's just, um, hmm, okay. It's cool though. I, I guess I'll just see what it looks like eventually because there have been a number of times where I built a coaster. I went with a color scheme and then after I placed all the scenery, decided that the color scheme didn't fit the scenery. That's just something that happens sometimes and something you have to just go with, I guess. But with this, I decided to add towers because me, you know me and my towers, towers are awesome. And of course, a little arc kind of thing. Don't really know how that works. Don't really know what kind of structure this is even supposed to be, but hey, it looks cool, I guess. So that's that. Now this is a very weird kind of mix of text, um, well not, yeah, textures of course, because I'm mixing very weird sets that I'm not actually really used to mixing. Hell, I'm not even used to using many of these sets. It's kind of a mix of the medieval, 
of Station Gym's Castle things. Then there is um, also Station Gym's, um, how's that, what's that set called again? Like the, the, the spooky, uh, <laughs> I don't even know it anymore. Um, the ghost cabin set, I think, yeah, that I use for that. And then there's also the underground kind of thing and finds and weird stuff. And Alpine Village by Shy Guy. So that's kind of a weird mix. <clears throat> but yeah, the idea behind this was to have kind of a gate over here with some towers on top of it. Kind of a cliche, I know. And also Intamin with castles and all that is also somewhat of a cliche kind of thing that many people have done before. So I decided to go and kind of do it in a slightly different way and add some spooky elements elements to that. But in the end, it's still an Intamin with a castle and it's still kind of kind of like a cliche kind of thing. <clears throat> so, yeah. And and oh god, oh god, the windows. I I just couldn't I just couldn't settle on any windows because they would either look ugly, like honestly, some of the windows just sucked. Or they would have a terrible render distance, or I couldn't use them for other reasons, or they didn't even fit the walls. So I've been messing with many windows in this episode, and that was kind of a kind of a weird thing. I I guess it's not too bad. In the end, I mean zero G's windows do look pretty cool, but I've already used them in numerous places in the park, so I would have liked to use other windows. But hey, I guess that karma didn't want that or something. So then I decided to do that, and then I decided to not do that because terraforming is annoying, really. The only reason why I didn't go with a, a terraformed kind of walkway is the fact that terraforming is annoying, and because the game is stupid. So, there you have that. I was just too lazy to work around with the stupid mechanics of this game. Sometimes, okay? Got me some slack. I, sometimes I don't even want to work with this. Sometimes I just feel like... I'm going to build such epic things in Rollercoaster Second 3, and then I open the game, and then I build things, and then I'm like, fuck you Rollercoaster Second 3, you're so annoying, and then I close the game. That actually happens. But, yeah. <clears throat> I, I decided to just kind of not do that today. Oh, oh, by the way, the reason I keep, like, making those stupid noises is because, um, that was just into class over here. It's the 6th of December, and we still have loads of candies left, so I ate all of it, and... Now I don't really feel good. <laughs> that was uh, that was actually the best timing of a uh, voice crack ever. Oh gosh. But yeah. Now you might be looking at the station and be like, "What are you doing? You you just keep doing random things." And yes, I don't I don't even actually have a plan with this station either. I just decided to build random things, random shapes, and just kind of get an as random as possible station. Now there is a huge risk in this because of course if you kind of build it random it might just turn out to be something bad. But then again, I kind of want something that's somewhat unique. I don't want to do uh, I don't want to rehash things that other things other people have already done numerous times and I kind of want to do something that I've never done either. I like to get out of my comfort zone. But yeah, that's why I'm just building random things really. The only problem that I have with this is of course that I'm still using Alpine um, roofs, because they're good. Oh, that was another weird kind of thing. It's the fact that I actually used that Romana Osmosia set for many of the walls and other things, and it's pretty funny because it's a Roman set, but it actually kind of mixes in with the other sets for some reason. So I, ju I just decided to go with it, so might as well. But yeah, that's it for this episode, so thank you so much for watching, and I'll finish it off in the next episode. Bye.